everyone. Welcome to Form 4 Additional Mathematics, Chapter 4, Indices, Certs and Logarithms. And this is the part 3 video for certs. And we are going to look at rationalizing the denominators for expressions involving certs. So we look at a few examples of certs that we've learned previously. For example, cert 2, for example, 3 cert 11. And sometimes the expressions involving certs can be like, for example, 1 over cert 5, where the cert is the denominator of the fraction. This is numerator, this is denominator. We look at more examples. So we look at another example where the denominators is in a cert form. So when this happens, when this happens, we usually rewrite this 1 over cert 5 in this form so that the cert becomes the, uh, the numerator. So we rewrite this so that we move the cert from the denominator to the numerator. So the set applies here. We usually, we usually want to move the cert to the numerator form. So we will write this as this. So in short, we move the cert from the denominator to the numerator. The process is called rationalization. So how are we going to perform the rationalization? How are we going to perform this? We look at the first type. There are three types. The first type, we have 1 over m cert a where m and a are both uh, constant values. For example, 1 over cert 5 or 2 over 5 cert 3. So how are we going to rationalize this? We multiply the expression with the conjugate. So m cert a itself is a conjugate here, so we multiply the numerator with this and the denominator with this. So we multiply 1 over cert 5 so here we, have, we multiply with cert 5 itself, multiply with cert 5. So 1 times cert 5, you get cert 5. Whereas cert 5 times cert 5, you get 5. Now we move the cert from the denominator to the numerator. Okay, we try again here. 2, 5, cert 3. So according to this method, we multiply by 5, cert 3 5 cert 3 then we will get 2 times 5 is 10 10 cert 3 5 times 5 you get 20 5 cert 3 cert 3 you get 3 so actually this and this can be further simplified so this 5 2 5 5 so you get 2 cert 3 over 5 times 3 is 15. This is the final answer. For the second type, we have this 1 over m cert a plus n cert b. So we have the addition of two certs here. Okay, for example, you have 1 over 7 cert 2 plus 5 cert 3. So in order to rationalize this, we multiply the fraction with the conjugate again. So the conjugate for this here is m sub a is still the same. However, we change the addition sign to the subtraction sign, where n sub b is still n sub b, and we multiply both the numerator and denominator with the same thing here. Okay, we try with this number. So we rewrite the whole thing: one over two sub three plus sub five. So we multiply by 2 cert 3, the plus sign and change to minus, cert 5, we rewrite cert 5. So here is the same. So when 1 multiply by this, you still get the same thing, 2 cert 3 minus cert 5. And for this part, it become this 2 sub 3 plus sub 5 times 2 sub 3 minus sub 5. I rewrite this. 
we try to multiply this so 2 third 3 times 2 third 3 you get 2 times 2 is 4 3 times third 3 times third 3 you get 3 then 2 third 3 times negative third 5 so you get negative 2 third 3 third 5 next we have this times this you get positive 2 third 3 third 5 2 third 3 third 5 and lastly you have positive third 5 times negative third 5 you get negative 5 now we can further simplify this this one remains 4 times 3 is 12 this one you see 2 third 3 third 5 and 2 third 3 third 5 are the same so 1 minus 1 1 is negative 1 is positive so we just cancel this so you have minus 5 so this leads us to the final answer which is 12 minus 5 is 7 so this is the final answer so the third type is similar to the second type but this is a minus sign here okay for example you have this so to rationalize this we multiply the number the expression itself with the conjugate so the conjugate this time is m sub a m sub a the subtraction sign to the addition sign so n sub b n sub b is the same so now for this i rewrite this 1 over 2 sub 7 minus 5 sub 3 so i multiply this with 2 sub 7 minus change to plus 5 sub 3 is still 5 sub 3 so the upper the numerator is the same so 1 times this you still get 2 sub 7 plus 5 sub 3 the lower part you have 2 sub 7 minus 5 sub 3 multiply 2 sub 7 plus 5 sub 3 so 2 sub 7 times 2 sub 7 becomes 4 times 7 2 sub 7 times positive 5 sub 3 you get positive 2 times 5 is 10 sub 3 sub 7 sub 3 here sub 7 here then the same thing goes to this minus 5 times 2 is 10 sub 3 sub 7 and then we have negative 5 sub 3 times positive 5 sub 3 you get negative first negative 25 3 4 times 7 is 28 one is positive one is negative so we cancel this and then minus 25 times 3 will be 75 hence you get the final answer is 2 third 7 plus 5 third 3 over negative 74 okay so since the negative here we rewrite this the negative we put here 74 so these are the three ways to rationalize the three types of uh, expressions where the third is at the denominator here okay so we always multiply the fraction by the conjugate where if it is the first type we multiply with the number itself the second type we change the addition to the uh, subtraction and the third type the subtraction we change to addition we try to look at uh, two more examples okay now we have uh, one third one plus uh, third two over one minus third two so if we, so if we want to rationalize this we ignore the numerator the upper part we only look at the lower part here so this equals to we rewrite this And then we multiply by 1 since this is a minus sign we change it to positive a plus sign 
third two. Okay, so we ignore what is here, we just refer to this. So if it is a minus sign, we change it to a plus sign. And then here we have the same thing, one plus third two. Then we perform the multiplication, that's it. So what it becomes one third, one plus third two, one plus third two. Here is one minus third two, one plus third two. So one times one, you have one. One times third two, you have third two. Third two times one, you have third two. Third two times third two, you have two. One times one, you have one. One times third two, you have third two. Negative third two times one, you have negative third two. Negative set 2 times positive set 2, you have negative 2. So 1 plus 2, you have 3. Set 2 plus set 2, you have 2 set 2. Positive and the negative here, we cancel this. So 1 minus 2, you have negative 1. So we can rewrite this as we bring a negative up here. So you have negative 3 minus 2. So, two. Okay, we try one more. So this time we have two thirds, which we want. We need to rationalize. So we do part by part. So we rationalize the first uh, fraction and the second expression separately. Okay. So first we have three plus third two over five minus third two. So for this first expression, we need to multiply by the conjugate of 5 minus 2. It becomes 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2. This is the first for the first expression. Then for the second expression, we copy this down. And we multiply by its conjugate again. 7 plus 3 will become 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3. Then we perform the multiplication. So to save the time, I just multiply here. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times set 2 becomes 3 set 2. Set 2 times 5 becomes 5 set 2. Set 2 times set 2 becomes 2. 5 times 5, 25. 5 times set 2, positive set 2, you get 5 set 2. Negative set 2 times 5, you get negative 5 set 2. Negative set 2 times positive set 2, you get negative 2. For this, 4 times 7, you get 28. 4 times negative 3, you get negative 4 set 3. Negative set 3 times 7, you get negative 7 set 3. Negative set 3 times negative set 3, you get positive 3. 7 times 7, you have 49. 7 times negative set 3, you get negative 7 set 3. Positive set 3 times 7, you get positive 7 set 3. Positive set 3 times negative set 3, you get negative 3. 15 plus 2, you have 17. 3 set 2 plus 5 set 2 becomes 8 set 2. 3 plus 5. Yeah? 25 minus 2, you get 23. 5 set 2, positive 5 set 2 minus 5 set 2, you cancel this off. Then we have this. 28 plus 3, you have 31. 4 set minus uh, negative 4 set 3 minus 7 set 3. So you have uh, negative 11 set 3 over 49 minus 3 will be 46. Negative set 3 plus set 3, cancel off. Okay, so now we already rationalized this. You see, the when we want to add a, a fraction, we need to make sure the denominator is the same. So 23 actually times 2, you get 46. So we times 2 for both sides here, you get 17 times 2 is 34. 8 times 2 is 16. And you have 46. So plus this. So the denominator is the same. You can add 
everything uh, you can add all the numerators so 34 plus 31 you have 65 then for this since this is different set 2 and set 3 we just rewrite this 16 set 2 minus 11 set 3 and 46 since uh, this is for, we cannot further simplify this this will be your final answer okay i'll see you in the next video thank you